All right, guys, this is part two. I have 40 minutes left, and I'll end the video here, guys. So I'll make a 30-minute video, then I'll make another 10-minute video, and I'll end the video here. I will end the video here afterwards. See what I'm saying here? I will end the video here after part three. Ten minutes into part three, I'll end the video. Yeah, man. Yeah, hence why no Hollywood actor was getting a piece of my roles is because me and VJ poured like a billion plus towards the movie, man. We put nine eighty million towards special towards the um towards the budget of the movie, but you also have other additional costs. It's like the cost for building all those buildings, that's not a part of the budget. The cost for building all the buildings, the 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 the, the, the cost for building all those buildings was not a part of the budget. And you also have Peter Jackson's salary, Mel Gibson's salary. That's all. That's not a part of the budget. If I want to pay Peter Jackson's eighty three million, I have to pay him out of my pocket. I can't pay him through the budget. Otherwise, he'll affect the budget. I have to pay him his eighty three million out of my pocket. You see what I'm saying here? Pay him his eighty three million out of my pocket. Obviously, I have to pay Mel Gibson his fifty four million out of my pocket. And you have to be careful. I'm saying you have to be careful. I have to pay them their money out of my pocket. Hence why what? I have to pay him out of my pocket. Hence why you have to be you have to be careful. I have to pay them out of my pocket. See what I'm saying? That's why you have to be careful. Yeah. And you guys already know what I'm talking about. You can see the future. You know how top notch my buildings are my, my are comfortable. You know how top notch my buildings are gonna be. You know how top notch of the, the, the kind of buildings I'm gonna own. I'm gonna own some nice ass buildings, man. A nice studio office. Go watch the game Grand Turismo. If you watch a good two minutes of the game, you'll see all these this land property, you'll see all these buildings. Think some of that for my for, for my Sky Source company. Something nice, nice gardening. I'm gonna put money into gardening work too. I'm gonna tell the archives, look, I want some nice gardening work around my studio office too. Hire a top notch lawn company to manage your lawns every summer and fall. Hire Weedman. I can hire Weedman. Weedman's the biggest lawn company in Canada. I can hire Weedman. I worked for them like eight years ago. I can hire Weedman to, to, to handle my to handle my to do my gardening for me. My my gardening work to maintain my lawn around my studio office in the summertime and, and spring. Hire Weedman to do that for you if you want. Nice gardening work on my, 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 I want nice gardening work for my studio office. I also want a Sky Source Entertainment sign. You know how you have the McDonald's sign, the Burger King sign? Something like that. You have a sign, it says Sky Source Entertainment. A nice sign like that. That way everyone knows, yeah, this is Ivan's company. Ivan's big Sky Source Entertainment company. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Something top notch. You look at something top notch. Do that, that way you have a top notch what? Top notch. You give the actors a good experience. You give the crewmen a good experience. That's why you do that. Do that, obviously. That way you give them a, a good experience, obviously. That's why Peter Jackson with this will be shocked by company. Holy shit, I'm your company easily can be to Hollywood. Yeah. They get flown on my private jet. It lands on my property. They go to my studio office. Like, holy shit, I mean, you have a nice office here. This is nice. I even invite you to have a beautiful studio office, man. This is beautiful. I'm saying, this is a beautiful studio office. You know what I'm saying? And and what? This is a beautiful studio office. I'm saying, and what? And uh, they go in my office. The secretaries sit them down. Okay, Peter Mel, Ivan and Vijay will be with you in a second. They get they get sent to, to, to my boardroom. They go upstairs. They're all nervous. The docking's phoning them, and I ask Peter Jackson to give some one by one their questions. And whoever comes with a better answer, that's the director who I'll be hiring for my Zayn's movie. And he will be the boss of my movie. So I'll give Peter Jackson I'll give him full power over my movie project. I'm giving, I'm giving him full absolute power, man. Full power. Okay, you get full power. The only thing I don't give him full power on is the console arts. That's it. Everything else, Peter, you're the boss. You'll be helping me and BJ make, make the business calls for the main eight things. My executive producer, you'll be co-writing the script with me. You'll be doing the concert arts with me. I'm not giving you full, you and the assistant director full power for the concert arts because I don't want you, I don't want Eric to have to be a full-on CG wolf. I don't want the wolves and bats to be full-on CG characters. No. Otherwise, the movie won't be as good. I want them looking natural, like like Pennywise the Clown, that animal being in, in, in the movie. I want them looking like that. 
Except more scary, three times scary than that. You see what I'm saying? Huh? You know how the orcs in, Order, in the original Lord of the Rings look natural? Yes, I want them looking like that. Except they'll, they'll look more, more better, better quality than that because I pour more money into the movie. Was Lord of the Rings the only made for $90 million? And you got orcs like that. Well, I'm making, putting a lot of money towards, towards what? Towards the masks. The mask of the wolves and the bats. Best machine you for the mask. I'm going to put, put, put money towards that. Hence why what? You're looking at something crazy, man. Yeah, man. You're looking at something crazy for the what? Look at something crazy for the what? For the uh for 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 Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson. They're gonna really compete for that job, man. I'm not kidding. I mean compete, like they're gonna compete so much. You might they might even give each other dirty looks when they see each other, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they know they know, yeah, even though yeah, I don't know, I fly them on the plane together. You know what I'm saying? They might talk to each other on the jet and have like two beers, but they're gonna they might give each other dirty looks. They know they're they're competing for that job, man. Yeah, I, I can I, I can I can be friends with you, man. I can be friends with you, Peter. But man, we're both competing for this fucking job. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like they're gonna they might give each other dirty ass looks, man, because they want that job badly. Yeah, man. Because Peter Jackson, because Peter Jackson and Gibson, once they read my book, they're going to be shocked by my book, man. They're gonna be like, holy shit. I even wrote a masterpiece. Yeah, I want. I want. I would love to direct this if we get my hands on this. Taki is fighting the Devil Wolf King. Yeah, I want to get my hands on this. Yeah, because Peter Jackson's into that fantasy stuff. He's in. There's a reason why he did King Kong, The Hobbit, and all that stuff. He's into that fantasy stuff. That's why Peter Jackson will want to get his hands on my book badly, and Mel Gibson will want to get his hands on my book badly too, because Mel Gibson's a Christian. He's a Christian. He's a Catholic Christian, obviously, and he what he did Passion of the Christ. He's obsessed with with, with War Two. And demons also. Hence why he would want to get my hands on my story badly. Oh, I mean, I have so much of this for your movie, you know what I'm saying? I fly into my office and Mel Gibson and Peter compete for that job, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mel Gibson and, and, and Peter will compete for that job. Alright, who can choose? I don't know, man. They're both fucking really, really good, man. For the job, man. I guarantee you all the Lord of the Rings fans think I'm crazy. Ivan, are you fucking retarded? Choose Peter Jackson. He fucking did Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I know he did Lord of the Rings, but Mel Gibson did Pastor Christ, man. And Pastor Christ is a masterpiece, too. And it's, 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 they're both really good for the movie, man. You see what I'm saying here? They're both really, really good for that movie. Hence why you what? They're gonna, I'm going to ask some questions. Okay, VJ. I'm going to have a meeting with my... I'm gonna, uh, What I'll do is I'll fly them to my office, obviously, and I'll interview them. And afterwards, I'll take them out to a nice dinner. I'm like, okay, guys, whoever, whoever one of you are chosen, you guys are going to be my directors. I can take them out to a nice dinner after I sign them, and I'll fly them back home, and I'll let, and I'll, I'll just, I'll just, if, and I'll, I'll have a meeting with my, with my two supervisors, my wife and Peter, and, and, and George Lucas, and we're going to discuss who we think is better for the, for, for the job. We're going to discuss who we think is better for the job, obviously, and whoever is better for the job, I'll, I'll have what, I'll, I'll, I'll let, I'll just, I'll just have my secretaries call their agents, let them know. Because there's nothing worse than flying all the way. Flying all the way to Vancouver, obviously, and you know, I, I interview them, and I make my decision. Then no, I we need. To, I, I have to seriously discuss this with my team. I'll just discuss it with John Favreau, Dave Filoni, and George Lucas. Hey guys, who do you think is better for the job, Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson? Give it a good two, three days, and after that, I'll I'll have my sec. Whoever I choose, I'll have the secretaries give Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson call. One of their agents will get the good news; the other agent will get the bad news. It's better to let them know. It's better to let them know they're chosen over the phone. That way, it, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not it's not as bad, you know what I'm saying? As there's nothing worse than Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson flying all the way to Vancouver. You know what I'm saying? I interview them and I make my decision right away and then he goes back home sad. No. I'll discuss it with, 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 with some people, obviously. And after three days, I'll have my, my secretaries give their agents a call. And one agent will get the good news. One agent will get the bad news. Mel Gibson, you're hired. Peter, you're not hired. Peter, you're hired. Mel Gibson, you're not hired. See what I'm saying? Her? One of them will get the good news. The other one will get the bad news. See what I'm saying? Her? That's how it's going to work. End this video here in 11 and a half minutes here. Yeah. All right, who can choose? I don't know, man. It's tough, man. They're, they're very, very good for that fucking movie, man. Mel Gibson... Peter Jackson, they're very, very good for that movie, man. Look at something crazy. They're very, very good for that movie. 
what I'm saying? They're very, very good for that movie. Hence why what? You're looking at something crazy. For, for what? For Last of Us against Buzzman. Something crazy, man. Yeah, man. Something crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Trust me, once Peter Jackson and McGill read my book, they're like, holy shit. I want to get my hands on They also know, they watch my videos, they know I'm going to put 90, 80 million towards Zanus. Yeah, I know if, I, if, I, if I'm an Ivis, he's going to give me an, an unlimited budget for set building, costumes and weapons, armor. You know what I'm saying? The extras, special effects. You know what I'm saying? The IMS cameras. Leasing the best cameras in Hollywood. The IMS cameras. The Chrome for the cameras. The drones. They know He knows I'm going to put a lot of money towards the movie. That's why he, the, the, both Peter Jackson and Gibson are going to want to get their hands on my story so bad. Yeah, if I can see Ivan's point. If Ivan pours like a billion dollars towards this movie, putting money all towards the world building and, and the animal kingdom in the south, Eric Tessa King of the south, you're looking at a masterpiece. Yeah, a movie even better than even My Lord of the Rings movie. Yeah. It won't be much better. It'll be close. As, as Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings is a fucking masterpiece. But my movie will be better than Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. Guaranteed. Because Zayn's is a better story than Lord of the Rings. You know what I'm saying? And you're looking at better action sequences. Better, better unheard of horror. Scarier than the three times scarier than the Orcs and Ring Race. And I'm acting in the movie. Which is a bonus. Because me and VJ are acting in the movie. It'll make the movie that much better. Hence why Zayn's will beat out Lord of the Rings. But it'll be close man. Zayn's is... Lord of the Rings is a fucking masterpiece. Obviously. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why what? That's why what? That's why what? Hence why you're looking at something crazy. With the, with the competition with Peter Jackson and Gibson. You're going to see them fighting for that job, man. You're going to see Peter Jackson. They're going to give each other dirty looks, guaranteed. Because they want to get their hands on it. We know whoever gets the job, they're going to be the boss of my movie. They're going to get to direct my movie, man. Co-write it with me. Do the concert arts with me. They're going to be a part of my of, of, of the fame with me for the world tour and the crazy fans. They want to be a part of that fame. It's cool being... They're, they're going to experience the buzz of the trailers, the doc trailers, the movie trailers with me and VJ. Yeah, and the with crazy worldwide buzz. They want to be a part of that buzz, hence why they want their will be badly, obviously. Yeah, they want to be safe too. They also know my company is better than Hollywood. As Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson will be shocked by my, by, by, by my company, obviously. They'll be shocked by my payment system. They'll be shocked by my wife, by my computer software equipment. They're going to be shocked by all that when they see that my computer software equipment for writing my scripts, my payment system, my high tech payment system. They're going to be shocked by all that. See what I'm saying? They're going to be shocked. Like, holy shit, Ivan, you have a, your company's bread in Hollywood. Yeah. They're going to be shocked with my special effects team unit building. Ivan, this is your building? Yeah, I, yeah, Peter, this is my building. I show him the building. You see all the nice, all the departments. The editing room, you know what I'm saying? The VFX artist room. Yeah, this will be the editing room where they edit the footage. This will be the VFX artist room. This is the sound mixing room. The sound effects room. This is the concert art room. He's like, oh, Ivan, this is your concert art room? Holy shit, this is nice. It's a nice fucking place. Yeah, I have my nice table, my chairs, my nice chairs. Oh, Ivan, this is a beautiful concert art room. Yeah, man. You know, so Mel Gibson would be like, Ivan, this is beautiful, man. This is a nice concert art room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even Mel Gibson will tell me, oh, Ivan, I read your book, man. If you turn this into this movie into business, you look at a movie even better than My Passion of the Christ, better than even Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. Yeah, man. You're looking at a movie, a masterpiece of a movie. You're looking at something crazy, man. Something crazy for, for, for what? Something crazy for what? Something crazy for, 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 for the fame. You look at something crazy, man. Yeah, man. I might hire two assistants to help my seven team. Hire one who worked in Hollywood. You can hire one who worked in Hollywood. Pay the assistant secretary $250,000. To help, uh, I could have those people. I, I could have the two assistants manage the the, the, the schedules. The, the, they can they, they'll help out the secretaries. And they can handle all that all the all the calls from the organizers for for the secretaries if they want. Help the secretaries out. I might hire a nine team and then the one who 
You can hire one who to help out the accountant and all them. Pay him 300 k Hire a secretary who worked in Hollywood, who's experienced, and you pay her 250 k a year. That's good enough. And you pay the other the other assistant 300 k and, and the secretaries will be the boss over the assistant. And the, the five will be the boss over the, the assistant, obviously. And the assistant will be the boss over the secretary assistant. So you have a hierarchy of power. Obviously. 250k for an assistant secretary is a nice paycheck, man. You live a good life in Vancouver with that kind of money. You're not living a celebrity life, but you're living it. You're, you're making a good living. You rent out a nice apartment for yourself. You can get a nice cheaper Benz, a nice four. You can even get $60,000 Benz. It's a big on your budget. Get a nice $40,000 Benz for yourself. Use Benz for yourself. You're living a good life, a good, a good living. Because brand new Benz are very expensive. They're like forty plus thousand dollars, forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars brand new Benz and BMWs. Whereas used ones, you can get a nice one for thirty thousand, thirty-five thousand. You can get a nice used Benz. Forty thousand, you can get a nice. You can get a cheaper like forty thousand Benz if you want. Obviously, but high chance I will not hire assistants. I don't need assistants. Seven people is more than enough. I don't need assistance for my company. The only way I'll hire assistants is if I see that there's because I'm gonna have Guatemala the Toro help out. To help out the seven team too. Hence, the, the, I don't need to hire assistants. I'm wasting money. I want, I'd rather save money and, and just have the assistant directors help out the seven team with the business calls. So Peter Jackson's chosen and Guatemala's chosen. I'll have Guatemala Toro take the load off the seven team, help them out. Hey, Guatemala Toro, you'll be my assistant producer. Help out my co-assistant producer. Help out the seven team with business calls. Help out the secretaries. Help them out. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, I paid you 400K. I expect you to work hard. You think I'm going to pay you 400K and just have you take notes? Help Peter take notes and do concert art. You're crazy. No. You're going to be helping out John Favre and them with the reels. You're going to be helping out the other five with business calls. And that's why I don't need to hire assistants. Because I can easily have my assistant director help out the seven teams. You know what I'm saying? You can make it work. Have the assistant. Just make your assistant director your co-assistant producer. Have him help out your seven team. And John Favre and Nick Filoni, I will have them do a lot of work. But I'm not going to have them do as much work as the other five because they're the boss. Hey guys, you're the boss. I won't have you do as much work, but you're going to be hard at work every week, obviously. But the other five are going to take more of the load off you because you guys are the boss. And me, VJ, Mel Gibson will be chilling or Peter Jackson will be chilling pretty much. As a, I'm not going to have Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson do the dirty work. No. The only thing Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson have to do is help me with the main eight things. Obviously. Help me co-write the script, obviously. The, the sacred Zena script, obviously. Do the concert arts with me. Right. Consult with the, with the other, with the seven team. And what? Take his notes every day for, for what we wrote on that day. That's it. And Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson get their day off after that. Hey, Peter, every day, from, every day, whenever, whatever we wrote down this day, I'll have John Favre and Nathan only print out a copy of the script. Go to when you go to, to your nice hotel room. You know what I'm saying, T dedicate a good hour and an hour and an hour to an hour and a half of your time. Take some nice detailed notes with Guatemala Toro. That way you're prepped and you have an idea for all your scenes. And once you do that, you're done. Mm -hmm. You get the rest of the day off, and I'll give you weekends off. They get their weekends off, which is nice. I'll give you weekends off, Peter. I'll give you weekends off, Mel. You know what I'm saying? I don't know which assistant director would assist would assist Mel. You can have Gordon Moldator assist Mel Gibson, too, if you want. Or you can have the one who assisted him on Passion of the Christ to help him out, if you want. Hey, Mel, who's the best assistant director to help you? I don't know, Ivan. This is the best assistant director. You hire that assistant director... Pay him a good, a good salary, obviously, to help him to help Mel Gibson, wherever I choose. See what I'm saying? Yeah, you can do that, obviously. I'm gonna talk about. I who gonna choose? I don't know, man. Something tells me I might choose Peter Jackson, man, because Peter Jackson did Lord of the Rings. Even though I'm leaning towards Mel Gibson, Peter Jackson did Lord of the Rings, man. Lord of the Rings is a fucking masterpiece, man. It's the best movie shows ever made. Peter, if you could do the magic you did for Lord of the Rings, I am fully on board with you coming on board directing my movie. But Mel Gibson did Passion of Christ too. That's why I'm kind of leaning towards him too, man. It's fucking tough, man. If two of those guys have to fight for the role, man. Right. Let's assume I hire Peter Jackson. If I hire Peter Jackson, he'll help me with the main eight things. Me and Vijay with the main eight things. Obviously. So, you, okay, help me with the help me with the food. We're going to make calls to the best farms in Swiss, and we're going to order all the best food for, for the top high-end buffet for breakfast, dinner, and dessert. Peter Jackson will help me with that, obviously. Um, you can even have Guatemala Toro help you if you want to. You can have him help you with those calls. Now, I don't need Guatemala Toro to help me with that. He, I'll have him help out the 17 with the other stuff. 
But Peter Jackson, though, I want, okay, I, Peter, I need you helping me with the food. Yeah, I'm not helping. Okay, we need to call the best farms in Switzerland and order all the nice food for breakfast, dinner, and dessert. We need to call the best company that makes coffee, French vanilla, soft drinks. Call the best vending machine companies in Switzerland. Rent all that, obviously. For, 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 we, need to, we need to get the best kitchen equipment for the chefs to cook the food, obviously. And the more important ones, we need, we need to make the call for the, lux for the Burgeon Dark Resort, for the luxury hotel party at, at that hotel and the, and, and the red carpet event. We need to make the calls to, to the best companies in America to lease the nice, like, 10 IMAX cameras, update all the IMAX cameras, lease all the equipment for the cameras, the drones, the stands, all that stuff. You know, you know the stands that, that, you know the camera stands that move? Yeah, you have to make the calls for all that. I don't know what it's called. Peter Jackson will help me all that. The most interesting one, we need to make the calls for the CGI special effects computer technology software. For, 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 for me, 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 VJ, and Peter, we order all that. The best computer CGI technology software. We order all that. It, it, it arrives in Vancouver and they store it in the, in, in the special effects unit rooms. All the departments. Okay, if you want to rent all your special effects computer software equipment, the sound department, the VFX department, and we, yeah, we have all the stuff. Yeah, how much money do you want? Do you guys want to put towards your special effects? I don't know, four hundred million dollars. Like what, guys? That's crazy. Like no movie has ever put that much money towards special effects before. In Hollywood, they only put like forty, fifty million towards special effects. Yeah, and I'm putting four hundred million towards special effects. Like holy shit, guys, this is better than Avatar. Yeah, think of a world better than Avatar for my movie. Yeah, man, a world better than Avatar for my movie. Yeah. Action sequences better than Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings had amazing action sequences. Think of action sequences better than that. And think of demon, literal demons, walking devils on the screen, three times scarier than the ring races and orcs in Lord of the Rings. If you thought that boss orc in Lord of the Rings was creepy, think something three times after Ephesus. You're looking at the devil himself for Ephesus. Eratat, three times scarier than Pennywise the Clown, the ring race. Walking de demons, man, and devils. Yeah, man. The devil himself, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be shocked. Holy shit. 400 million... Fuck, man, like, for, 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 they only put, like, $80 million towards fucking Avatar. $70 million towards Avatar. You got a world like that. And you're putting $400 million plus towards salaries. Yeah, like, 410 415 towards salaries. Yeah, man. Towards uh, special effects, sorry. Towards towards special effects. That's crazy. Yeah, man. They're going to be shocked. You know what I'm saying? I'm also, Peter, Peter Jackson also helped me make calls for the machinery for the mass. To create the mask for all for all the animal characters, obviously, and the ex some of the extras, rent a good like five machines. That way you have that way you speed up production. They can the people can create a lot of three D like print masks. Remember that animal picture I showed you? A mask like that, costumes and masks like that they create for all the animal characters, the wolves and the bats, as well as the extras. Okay, I need you guys creating thousands of masks. The only way to make it work is if is if you is if you rent a lot of uh, a lot of uh, mass machines, and the, the mach you rent the best machines they 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 you rent you rent the best machines that could produce I don't know five hundred a thousand mass like every day or something like that, and they create all the mass and all stuff for all the extras and also something crazy, rent a good like five machines and they create all the three D print mass, a prosthetic three D print mass for all the extras, and and and, and all the animal characters obviously. As well as you have the, the, the machinery for the, creating the costumes for the all the all the actors in my movie, the minor ones and major ones in my movie, the animals and human characters, create costumes for all of them, and then the extras you just rent it, rent it or buy it. But I won't have the, I won't have what my seventeen make the calls around until they do the sign ups the second year. People always see the extras have to do the sign ups the second year before they can they can rent all the costumes or buy it. Either rent it. Have the extras wear it, and they they they, they return it, and then we send it back. We return return it. We return the costumes, or we can just buy it, and the extras can keep it. Obviously, and I'll have John Favreau and Dave Filoni. Hey, okay, you guys are responsible for making the calls for the sets. Everything to do with the sets, the tools, the bulldozers, the tools, the hammers, all that stuff for the building, all the sets, the paper mache, the wood, everything. You know, what I'm saying the fake trees, the fake mud. You you guys are responsible for making all those calls. Call the best companies in, in, in America for, 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 and you purchase all the stuff for the sets. You also have the tools for the sets too, like the boulders, all that stuff. When they build sets, they have tools on stuff. They have what? Machinery tools on stuff, right? Like bulldozers and all that stuff. Yeah. You have to make the calls for all that, obviously. But do not make the calls for the sets, guys, until we, until, until we decided what we, want, what we want for the concert arts. So once we decided what we want our lands to look like, me, VJ, Peter Jackson, I guess we made our choice. 
we decided what we want for the lands. Obviously, we can now you can now buy all the sets, the set equipment based off 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 what the pictures. Based off the pictures, that way they know what 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 sets what stuff for the sets they need to order. You see what I'm saying? Here? So with all the so we decide what we want. We decide what we want for the movie for the lands. Rosanus, Cyrus, Saphius, Barak, the Valley, the Blood Valley, and you know I'm saying the Wall of Zanus, the Castle of Zanus, the City's Edge, the Cursed Western Greatest Mountains in the South, the, 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 the Holy, the Holy, the what? The Western Greatest Mountains in the North, the Courtyard, the Gardens. Once we decide what we want done for all, John Hound Ali drew all the pictures. We, VJ Pierre Jackson, Grimoire Toro, and, and John Farrell Nathan have decided what we want done for what? For, for the pictures, we can now what? John Fowler and all of them can now make the calls for the sets. Okay, John. Now, now that we know what we want the, the lands to look like, obviously for our movie, we, you can now make the calls for the sets, and we, we we get the best stuff for the sets, the best stuff for the sets. You know what I'm saying the artificial mountains, something crazy, man. You know what I'm saying. And yeah, that's all Peter Jackson will help me with, and he'll consult with the seven team, and he'll help me correct the script. He'll do the concert arts with me, and he has to take his directing notes every day when he goes to his hotel room. Dedicate a good hour and a half of your time. An hour, hour is more than time. Dedicate a good hour of your time, hour and a half of your time, and have a good motor help you take your notes. That way you're prepped and you don't wing it. And, you're, and, 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 and as long as he does the concert arts with me, he co-writes with me, he knows the ins and outs of the story, you'll get a good movie. Because Peter Jackson is a talented director. As I'm not worried about room my movie as long as he doesn't wing it. Oh, doesn't matter how good you are as a director. If you wing it, you can get a messy story. If I winged it, I, if I winged it as a director, I would get a messy story because I'm not prepped. You need to be prepped as a director. Peter Jackson was prepped for Lord of the Rings. I want him being prepped for fucking Zanes. I don't want you winging it for my movie. I want Gordon Moldo Toro being prepped. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I want Gordon Moldo Toro to be a part of all the concert arts. That way he knows the ins and outs of the movie. You see what I'm saying? Here? Of the movie that way he can help he can assist Peter Jackson during the nine months of directing. He can assist him a lot during the nine months. But Motor Tor can assist Peter Jackson. See what I'm saying? Here? End the video here in like 13 minutes. Oh I I'm really interesting, yes. But I have to get my beer in my smokes, guys. See what I'm saying? Here? Yeah man, hence why what? Yeah. Yeah, go to the tour, you have to what? He got, he, he needs to help out Peter Jackson, obviously. And whoever Mel Gibson hires, I don't know who he'll hire. That assistant director will have to help him too. Whoever I choose, right? They're gonna have to help Mel Gibson too, obviously. So Peter Jackson Mel Gibson will be my executive producer, my co writer, and my director. Gordon the tour will be my what? He will be my um my co-assistant producer and my assistant director. You see what I'm saying? So he'll be my co-assistant producer who help out the seven team. And he'll be my what? My casting director too. You can have him be your casting director. Help out John Favre and Dave Filoni. If they're chosen. And you can have and I'll have him be my, my assistant director. Obviously. And me and VJ will be the executive producers, obviously. Peter Jackson will be the executive producers. And uh, he'll be the co-writer and the director of my movie. And I'll be the executive producer, co-writer of the movie. Obviously, but I won't be director as I won't be directing Zanus. As acting and directing is too fucking stressing. Uh, at the same time, I don't have any directing experience. I'm scared of taking on that daunting task, man. Because if you're a director, if you're a director, at, you're the you're in charge of the whole movie. At, all the creative people are all coming to you asking you questions, man. And so if I hire Guillermo del Toro and and and, and Peter Jackson, they're gonna take that stress off me. You see what I'm saying? Or? So when when Peter Jackson. All when all the when all the designers and all of them come come ask have all these questions, they're not going to be coming to me. They're going to be coming to Peter Jackson and Guillermo del Toro, and they're going to take that. So Peter Jackson knows what he's doing. He's 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 he, he directed Lord of the Rings. He directed The Hobbit. He was executive producer for those movies. He knows. Yeah, I mean, I, he, Peter Jackson can easily handle that the stress. Yeah, I mean, don't worry about. It. I know what I'm doing. I, I I directed Lord of the Rings. I directed. The Hobbit. All these design people came to me and asked me questions. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, Peter Jackson knows what he's doing. He has experience. Was I don't have any experience. That's why I'm gonna hire Peter Jackson, or Grand Moore the Tour, or 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 Mel Gibson to take that stress off me. You see what I'm saying? Here? He will take that stress off me, Peter Jackson. Thank you, Peter, for taking that stress off me. I don't have to worry about the designers and all of them coming to me for questions. 
I don't have to worry about John Howe and Alan Lee and all them coming to me for questions. I'll help Peter out a little. I'll help him out a little. I'll help Peter Jackson out, obviously, or Mel Gibson. If whenever they ask Peter Jackson a question, I'll, I'll help him out. Because hey, this is my baby. I know what's best for my story. But Peter Jackson will be the one making the decision who will take that stress off me. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm hiring a well-known director who directed Lord of the Rings, who knows what he's doing. Hire a well-known director who directed Passion Christ, who knows what he's doing. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to show my kind of here.